Hi everybody, um, I'm here this morning with my yoga mat behind me um, and I have my set of yoga cards that I brought from Red Room um, and I thought I'm going to show you how to do these yoga poses today um, and if you want to you can follow along at home or you can come back later and watch this video again and you can try your own yoga at home, okay? I also have my little yoga buddy with me here this morning. I woke up Mudge the tortoise. Maybe he'll do something with us. I don't know. He might just walk away as well. Let's see. Um, but let's get ready to do some yoga. Um, yoga is really awesome for calming your body down if you need to. Um, it's really good too for stretching out muscles in your body. So it's also a really cool way to exercise. Um, and something that people like to do when they're doing yoga is like really deep breaths with their body from their belly and through their nose and their mouth. Um, and one way that people like to do this sometimes um, is through like a volcano breath. I know in Red Room we really enjoy doing that one. So to do a volcano breath, you can push your hands together like this. See, they're kind of in the shape of a volcano. And what you do is you first breathe in through your nose and then explode your hands out while you breathe out through your mouth. Okay, let's do one more. And helping your body take that really big deep breath is a really good way to start to get it calmed down and ready to do things like yoga or even some other things around the house, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move our yoga buddy, Mudge the Tortoise, over to the yoga mat. Let's see what he does. Um, and we can start with our moose pose. So you can see for this one, we're going to be standing up and really stretching our body out tall, okay? So let's go ahead and try it. For moose pose, you're going to take one leg and put it kind of forward and stretch your back leg out and then reach your arms way up high in the sky. And sometimes if you'd like to, you can count to three while you're doing a yoga pose so you know how long you've been doing it for. So we can stretch way up and count one, two, three, and then you can come back and relax your body a little bit. Okay, let's see what's next. All right, this one here is called elephant pose. So this one you're gonna have both your feet and your hands down on the ground, but you're gonna stretch your legs out really wide, okay? Let's go ahead and give that one a try. So you're gonna kinda take your legs and stretch them out wide and then take your hands and put them way down in the middle of your legs. You should really feel a stretch back here. And then you can count one, two, three and then stand back up and relax your body again. You can even take a volcano breath in between some of your yoga poses, okay? So remember, squish your hands together, breathe in through your nose. Okay, let's see. Next we can do this pose, it's called walrus. So you're gonna have your hands down on the ground and put your legs way out behind you and stretch them out, okay? So here we go over on my yoga mat. I'm going to put my hands down and stretch my legs way out and push my tummy up like this and count one, two, three. And then I can come back and relax my body again. Okay. Next. All right. Some people, um, this one on this card is called tiger. Um, other people might call this cat pose, but this one's also on your knees and your hands. So let's go ahead and try that one. On your knees like this with your hands, and sometimes people like to curve their back way up or let it sink way, way, way down. But when you're ready and comfortable, you can do your counting. One, two, three. Okay. Let's see. Next we have a pose called crocodile. This one's also on your um, hands and feet, but your knees are not touching the ground anymore. You need to really straighten your body out, okay? Let's give that one a try. So hands, feet way up behind you, but don't let your knees touch. Bring them way up off your yoga mat, okay? And then you can do your counting. One, two, three, and then relax your body. Ooh, that one's a really good exercise for your tummy muscles. <laughs> All right, next we have a pose called hippo. So you really curl up way up on the yoga mat or on the ground, okay? So let's go ahead and try that one. So you can start by sitting up on your knees and put your arms kind of down by your side and curl your body over like this. And then you can do your counting. One, two, three. Okay, let's see, only a few more to go. Ooh, this is a fun one. This one's called whale. 
For this pose, you're gonna be way up on your tummy and you're gonna be lifting your feet up off the ground a little bit, okay? Let's go ahead and try it. So what you can do is lay down on the ground like this, put your arms back and then start to really raise your head up. And you can't really see in my video, let me scooch up a little bit, but your feet are coming up off the ground too, okay? So go ahead and get in your pose and you can do your counting. One, two, three. Ooh, that really stretches your back muscles out. Okay, and let me see, we have one more pose to try. This one's called bear pose. I know a lot of you have done this one before. So let's get our feet and our um, our feet and our hands up on the ground and we're really gonna push our bottoms up in the air, okay? So here we go, hands on the ground, feet on the ground and push your bottom up. But when you're comfortable, you can start your counting. One, two, three, and then come back and relax. So those are the yoga poses I have for you today. Um, if you want to try them at home, you don't have to use a yoga mat. That's the cool thing about yoga. You can do it just on the ground or you can ask um, a grown up you're with if there's a towel you can use to do your yoga on um, because towels are very long and um, rectangle shaped like a yoga mat is. And if you really need your own space to do it in, that's something that you can use. Okay, here we go. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoy your yoga at home. Bye.